Five, four. Now before you go. What do you know about uh, New Zealand then? Home to Flight of the Concords and Kim.com. Uh, they film Lord of the Rings there and they drive on the left. Yes, very good. Uh, Quora.com also mentions how their people radiate extreme friendliness. Yes, and they put shrimps on the barbie. No! <laughs> One, don't confuse New Zealand with Australia. It can be a sensitive topic and people can get into all kinds of irrational comparisons when challenged on the topic. Just don't do it, okay? Okay. So you get there, but alas, it's raining. Now what? We stay in and watch a movie. Two, don't freak out about the rain. It's not worth waiting for the rain to stop before you head out. In 10 minute intervals, you'll be rained on, get sunburned, or catch a chill from a southerly. What is a southerly? A southerly is a cold wind that blows up from Antarctica. Gives you the chills. Take a fleece. Wear a fleece. I can't wear a fleece with shorts. It's, it's not fashionable. Three, forget fashion. Even Kiwis openly joke about the ugliness of their shorts. New Zealand is a laid back sort of a place with a relaxed dress code. The summer uniform is jandals or even barefoot. Jandals? Jandals? That's sandals. In Kiwi, for the winter, just add a hoodie or a beanie. They don't care about fashion, just be comfy. So wear loads of clothes. And if it's sunny, take them off. Yes, but don't get sunburned. Well, isn't that the point of sunbathing? Don't sunbathe! Thanks to the hole in the ozone layer, the burn time in New Zealand is about seven to 10 minutes in the summer. That is quicker than I could heat up my ready meal. Well, you will become a ready meal if you lay out in the sun in New Zealand. Wear sun protection at all times. You can ask any Kiwi kid and they'll tell you to slip, slop, slap and wrap. Slip, slop, slap and wear your jip jops. Hibbity hip hop. <laughs> slip on a shirt, slop on some sun cream, slap on a hat and wrap on some sunnies. You know, sunnies are sunglasses. Ah, okay. So I won't sunbathe and I'll stay indoors. Five, don't stay indoors in the summer. It's just not allowed. No self-respecting Kiwi would waste a perfectly good day indoors when there's so much going on outside. It'd be horrified to think that you're missing out on all culture festivals like the Lantern Festival at Chinese New Year and Pacifica, one of the biggest Polynesian festivals in the world. So, oh, are you hungry? <laughs> I'm very hungry. Well, a lot of people <laughs> complain about the grub, but it's not all bad. So six, don't underestimate the cuisine. You just need to know where to look. So ask around, look down some side streets and see where the kiwis are eating. You have to try a steak and cheese pie or a minced potato top. Try a pavlova as well. They love pavlovas. They don't eat kiwis. No, it's cannibalism. The fruit. Oh, the fruit. <laughs> But don't stop there. New Zealand is close to Asia and they have a lot of good Asian food oh. too, of course. So I've eaten. Yeah. Uh, what else is there to do? Well, do you like music? I love music, but I doubt Take That's going to be playing there. Seven, don't miss the local music. With such a small population, it's hard for New Zealand to attract big name bands like Take That. Mm. Local music, there are but many... But what if I want to see Take That? No, forget Take That, it's not going to play there. What, I just watch on YouTube or something? Yes, watch it on YouTube, but not indoors! There are many talented local musicians that have filled that void. Think of a little band called Flight of the Concords. So can I go and see them? Yes, please do. Excellent. Fool of a took! Hit the like button below! Oh, it's Gandalf! <laughs>